Hi, welcome again to Awesome. This is the test of Awesome. I've been playing around with the font. As you can see, XOS4 Terminus Regular 9, so making it all geeky. But that's not the point. I want to, um, well, finish actually what I started. Here it says that we have, at this point in time, in Belgium, Antwerp, 7 degrees Celsius. But there's a, a large community of our Arco Linux uh, users that are using Fahrenheit. So how do you change the Fahrenheit uh, sensors here? So this element, this weather element is wrong for lots of people. How do we fix this? Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's the topic. Well, super F2 and we are in Atom. If you did not, you should add file, add project folder go to your uh, awesome folder okay so you have everything in detail and we can take a look let's close up a little bit let's close up so this is what you normally see in your file manager you have the rc lua and in the rc lua there's lots of information about your system so read it but at some point in time you choose for a theme and the theme is here applied and the apply theme is power arrow blue in an exercise we've made a power arrow throw so it's frolly it does not exist it's just an exercise with it in uh, galactus i think the team is called so check it out on youtube but we have here this team lua and what you probably would do is control f to search and type weather and see okay what's uh, about this weather thing and then you see this link here so open weather map and we've explained to you that with this link you go to the internet you type in your city and then you get this code and you place or you copy paste your city code or city id over to this antwerp belgium code but it doesn't help things i mean it's still celsius it's still measuring in celsius even when you say um, when it, for instance, we need to change it anyway. So if we say, okay, C becomes F, you obviously know, hey, that's just text. You can type anything there. doesn't really matter. Yes, it is. It's just text. So we need to do more than just embellish it. This is an embellishment. It's not changing it to Fahrenheit. So what we need to do is take a look at the code. Let's get rid of the search. So we are in this part of our code, this part. Okay, so you analyze and you see that there is a weather icon that we are going to get. Okay, fine, a weather icon, an image box, weather, fine. And then we are actually calling upon a widget, a widget called uh, weather. And in the lane folder, now we're getting somewhere in the lane dot widget. Okay, see the, the resemblance, weather then you open this one and say oh maybe this one is calling information from the other one because it's a programming language remember so we have here a widget created for us thank you guys from the github from lane and they have uh, well analyzed and, and and written everything down here and the only thing you should should know or should do is if you're not in Celsius and you calculate everything in Fahrenheit, you have to call it something else. Imperial. Now what will happen, this 7 is going to change. And if you would like to see that, we can of course check out Ctrl Alt V. I think it was called Open Weather Map. Okay. So it's Antwerp. Antwerp in Belgium is seven, eight degrees, they say. Okay, seven here, but it's Celsius, okay? There's a big difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit, very big difference, 46. So we want to get 46 by the end of this exercise, okay? Well, changing it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, Imperial, Ctrl S. What do you do? Super S, if you don't remember anymore because Shift Super R is reload. Shift Super R reload. And what you see indeed it says now 
the F, the F is just text that we typed, but the 45 is important, 38, 45. So yes, everything is now in uh, expressed in Fahrenheit. So remember the words, uh, Imperial. All right, enjoy. <laughs>